Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoto and we are here with another Grand Theft Audio V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install add-on pairs inside your Grand Theft Audio V folder. I've been doing some videos about this recently, but today guys, that this video is all about on how to fix your L key, and to give you guys proof that you can now install more than one pairs inside the mod. And this is a fixed version guys for the latest game version on 1.48 version so make sure you guys do listen very carefully on how to install this mod correctly so make sure you guys download all of the latest requirements that's in some of the description below once you guys have completed that then follow my process from here all you guys gotta do is download this mod and now there is a few links that is inside my description too. So download this mod, download this pet selector, and download the heap limit adjuster, download pack file limit adjuster, and then download game config. And then now these two pens are the pens that I will be installing to give you guys proof. So if you guys want these pens, then I will leave them both inside my description below as well. So make sure you guys download all of these files and we're gonna get straight into it. Now, just to let you guys know that this video was requested by you guys as there's been so many people that has been having trouble with this mod on installing this mod. Some people say that their game keeps crashing. Some people say you cannot install more than one pair. Well guys, this video is for you guys, okay? So make sure you guys listen very carefully, starting now. So all you guys gotta do, okay, is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and then open the file location. Now, as you guys can see, okay, there's absolutely no mods in here except for Squidhook V, Squidhook V.net, and Minio, and even Trainer V, also known as Simple Trainer. And even including inside our script folder, native UI.dr file, the latest version. So if you guys are having trouble installing add on pairs and it keeps on crashing your game it's best to start a new folder okay like i'm doing right now so what we're gonna do okay is that um hang on is that we are going to install add on pairs so all you guys gotta do is go and open up your add on pairs extract folder which i already got one over here now go inside your DLC packs folder and go to your game folder and go inside your mods folder update time 64 and DLC packs. Now click on your add on pairs inside your extract folder and drag it inside your DLC packs folder. Now make sure you double click on add on pairs and make sure that the other DRC file inside there. Go back to your main folder inside your extract folder. And then now all you guys gotta do next is go back to your main Grand Theft Audio V folder inside your game folder. Now next all you guys gotta do is select add-on pairs editor and add-on pairs vast and drag them both inside your Grand Theft Audio V main folder in there 
Now double click on readme.txt. Now really it's called readme.ht email. Find the code. There's the code over here. Copy the code and then exit out of your HTML. And now all you guys gotta do next is just exit out of your extract folder. And then now open up your open IV. Go to Grand Theft Auto V, Windows, wait for a few seconds. Once this process is done, go to edit mode, select yes, then go to your mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data, then scroll right down the bottom, and until you see drclist.xml hover over it right click and then edit scroll right down the bottom then just click onto the item press enter once and paste your code right there save your code go back to your drclist.xml file double click and check to see if your code is there and yes it is Exit out of your application and then just minimize your OpenIV. Now the next thing you gotta do guys is double click on your scripts folder. And now all you guys gotta do next is open up your peer selector extract folder. Inside this extract folder there will be another peer selector. So all you guys gotta do uh, select your peerselector.dll file and drag it inside your scripts folder and now exit out of your extract folder go back to your main Grand Theft Auto V folder scroll right down the bottom now once you guys have finished with that okay this is the part where you gotta listen very very carefully because this is the part where it fixes your game crashes and you can add more than one pair inside your game so here it goes guys so all you guys got to do is open up your GTA V heap adjuster now inside that folder will be one file okay so just put it there and then now select your GTA V heap adjuster.asi and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder now exit out of that extract folder and now guys all you gotta do next okay is open up your pack file limits adjuster and then inside that file we are going to install the pack file limits adjuster.ini and .asi drag them both inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder now exit out of that folder now all you guys got to do next okay is listen very carefully open up your GTA V game config extract folder now inside that folder there will be a few files in here okay so go to GTA config and now there's a few files in here okay like one in here and one in here um, yeah, this is going to be tricky guys, okay, so the one that I use is times 5 traffic and times 5 pairs. So open up that folder, okay, make sure you open up this folder. And then now uh, all you guys got to do next is go to your open IV. And then now uh, just go over here to game config over here guys. Now all you guys got to do next, okay is make a backup copy just in case okay if you guys want to get back to the normal uh game version okay so make up a backup copy okay so all you guys got to do is select your game config.xml file and just drag it onto your desktop for now and now you made up a backup copy so go and click on your game config.xml inside your extract folder and then there guys and that's all you guys got to do exit out of your extract folder 
So now what we have done guys is that we fully installed add-on pins okay and we have fixed the L key button and not only that we can add more pins into the game now. So what we're going to do is that we're going to install two pins okay to give you guys proof that it does work. So the two pins that we are going to install is these two up top over here. So all you guys got to do to install pins is go to your mod folder, go to updates, go to time 64, go to e DRC packs, go to add on pins, go to DRC.RPF, go to pins.RPF, and now inside here there will be other files in here, but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove them because I do not want them. So I'm going to delete them all. You can delete them all if you guys want to, it's totally up to you. Now, these are the pins that I'm going to install. So I'm going to open up this extract folder. And then now inside this folder, all you guys gotta do is click on add on folder. Now just select the whole thing, okay? The YTD. YMT, YFT, and YDD files. Drag them all inside your pins.rpf folder. And now exit out of your extract folder. Open up your my extract folder. And now all you guys gotta do is go into this folder and you can choose whatever um, outfit you want. But I always choose Korean, which is this one over here. I always choose this one so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select all the files and drag it inside my page.rpf file and then that's all you guys got to do exit out of your out of your extract folder now uh, this part of here I always do this okay guys so you guys don't have to do this if you want to but I always do this so I click on one file, drag it to your my desktop, click on another file, drag it onto my desktop. Now all you guys gotta do next is click on edit mode, click on GTA V, exit out of your open IV. Now all you guys gotta do next is right click on your game folder, refresh. Then right click on your add-on piece editor and then run as administration. Now this application will pop up, so all you guys got to do, okay, next is go to your file over here that you have saved, right click and rename that file, and then just only copy the name, and then uh, go down to your PN drop down menu, and click on new PN, and just paste your name right here, your model name. Go to peer type and the peer type is a female and go to is streamed and false and add peer. Now go to the next one, right click, rename and copy the name and then go down to your peer drop down menu again and repeat the process. Paste the name, go to female, peer type, is streamed, is false and then add peer. The next thing you gotta do guys is click on rebuild and now click on OK, exit out of your application, right click refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder and delete those two files guys but because you don't need it. Right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back at Franklin. So as you guys can see, I did let the video roll. So you guys can see the proof that my game won't crash. So as you guys can see, I'm in the game. My game did not crash. And that is pretty cool. So now I'm gonna give you guys proof that you can spawn more than one pair in the game. So here we go. 
Try and press your Alt key on your keyboard to open up your add-on page menu. And there you go. See you guys, my Alt key does work. Now go to your add-on page and there's two pages right here. So we're going to go to one page and then go to the next one to give you guys proof that it does work, okay? And my game won't crash. So here it goes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then there you go. There's one page already spawned and that's pretty cool. So if you guys want this pad, it will be inside my description below. Now we're going to go to the next one. And see guys, my game's still going, it's not crashed. And see, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so add-on pads still works, okay? Even though it is outdated. So yeah, so that's how you guys do it, okay? So make sure you guys do follow the tutorial. And make sure you guys do it properly and right, okay? Because I installed it inside a clean folder, so it should work for you. If it does work for me, it should work for you. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. So we are back again, guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy the mod, but just only wanted to clarify out there, guys, okay? To make your game work, okay, and not crash, and to add more peers into the game, you really need to and the game config and even the GTA heap adjuster and even the GTA pack file limit adjuster too. Those are the three files that you must install first, okay? Because without these files, okay, the game will only crash all the time and you can't install then one paired inside the, your menu. Okay guys, so make sure you do Follow the tutorial, okay, and make sure that you choose inside your game config times five traffic and times five peers, okay, guys. Uh, so that's the file that you must change, okay. Uh, it is a bit difficult, but you guys would know what to do, in, in, you know, in the end. So I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. So with that, I'll see you guys. If you guys still get stuck installing this mod. Then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out. If you guys got any questions, then let me know in the comments. Then I will uh, reply back to you guys. But uh, yeah, that's all we got to say guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did, then smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.